There is nothing like a water leak from an appliance, a pipe, or a sink to give you that true reality of just how impactful and painful that clear substance can be on your life. From dealing with the immediate damage to loss of parts of your home and all the way to wasting time with insurance companies and contractors, it can be a real pain in the you know what. This is one of the situations where we can use smart home technology to save ourselves a ton of time, a ton of money, and today I'm excited to show you something in one neat little package. Hello automators, I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation and a little bit out of home ownership. As we go here, I do have to tell you that this is a sponsored video by Econet Controls, but I also have to tell you that that doesn't mean that they're getting a great review here. It means that they get this spot in the channel schedule. One of the reasons that I haven't bought one of these in the past and installed it in my home is because I'm not the most mechanically inclined individual on the planet and I don't want to bring someone in just to install this for me and on top of that I'm always worried that maybe I'll just miss some little design detail or some little thing and I will end up with a actuator that will not work with my valve and so going out spending a ton, ton of money here on something like this and then having an issue like that has always stopped me. Now I got the opportunity to speak with one of the individuals at Econet Controls and to talk through how the ordering process goes, how this all happens and what I found out is that as soon as you put in an order with this company they actually reach back out and get some details from you about your valve so they'll actually work through what your valve is, what your situation is and if they have to they will produce custom mounting hardware to make sure Sure that this goes perfectly. So at that point the physical installation becomes incredibly simple and so does a lot of the design details here. So what you're seeing right here are just a couple of bolts. So this is just the one side of the valve but that's what you're putting and you have a couple more bolts right here over the valve handle and that is the entire physical installation for this actuator. Now they did some really smart things here when you look at these two they've given the ability to kind of spread these out further if you've got a larger valve handle. Physical installation aside the technical installation is now a component in this age of smart home technology that can actually be a pretty quick stop for a lot of people. When you buy a starter kit from Econet Controls here you end up getting three of these leak sensors. Now they're pretty standard devices in terms of how they detect leaks with a few key differences that we'll talk about here in a minute but you're getting these three and they come prepared with the controller on your actuator on this entire unit. So this becomes a technical installation of literally plugging in everything and pulling the battery tabs on these and then your whole system is working. So then you've got to go around your house and install these and if you need more than three leak sensors you can add those to your order and they become or they come prepared for you. Now the reason this installation is so easy is because of one of the biggest features of the Bulldog series of products. Unfortunately most of the water or valve shutoff systems that you will see on the market today Today, they will take a cloud connection in order to connect to an app or they will take wireless connectivity inside your home to go to a smart home hub. It's something that's relatively unavoidable. And there are certain smart home hubs and certain controllers that you can go out and if you're really technically competent, well, then you can totally take advantage of that fact and get something done that you might feel just as good from a reliability standpoint as the Bulldog ends up being. But there's only one piece of wireless communication going on in order to make all of this work and that is between the leak sensors 
and the controller on the actuator here. Now, what happens there is that they're using a 433 megahertz or basically an RF signal, and that is a highly reliable method of wireless communication. That form of communication is not based on anything else working in your home. It doesn't matter if your network is online, and that is a really important component. Plus, with it being such a low frequency, it's going to do better in terms of getting into those mechanical rooms that we're likely to end up putting this kind of a device in and the controller as well. There's also one option that eliminates wireless communication altogether. So here's a wired leak detector. You can only get one of these into the controller, but then you would have leak detection around your actuator or around your controller, and that would be entirely wired communication. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever one thing goes wrong in the house, it seems like a couple of things decide to pile on at that time. And it's usually because there's some kind of extraneous circumstances going on. But you know, invariably, if you have a power outage, that's probably the moment when you need your valve to be closed because it's coming from something else. The nice thing about this system, or what I like, is that it is one single power cable that is the determining factor as to whether or not this system works. So that's something really easy to place on a small UPS and get it to work even when the power's out. The good news for people like me is that we can still talk about connectivity with this, and there's actually a number of different options available with this single unit. So you're not just limited to here's how it works you're gonna find something that probably fits your life for me I like to put things through Samsung smart things and I can get a controller that is z-wave compatible plus there's a device handler that they recommend you use that turns it to local control through Samsung smart things making it highly reliable and then I would have access to all those other leak sensors and reasons that I might want to close my valve the other model I have here in terms of connection this one is actually a Wi-Fi version and that gives me the ability to put it into the eWe link app which again lets me drive it into Samsung smart things using that system and it gives me voice control options with both Google and Amazon's voice assistants I'll give you a little bit of a negative here around that wireless or Wi-Fi communication it doesn't stop the whole local component from working that still all works whether you get it connected or not and whether that Wi-Fi connection is working or not but during setup because of my specific situation I did struggle a little bit now I have Nest Wi-Fi which combines the SSID or the ID that you kinda tap on on phones and tablets in order to connect to your wireless network well when you have Nest Wi-Fi, it combines the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. So I did struggle to get this initially connected to my Wi-Fi, and I actually ended up outside of my home because I have good, strong 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi throughout. I did manage to do that, and you will too. And what it actually taught me about this whole system, this whole setup, is that Econet Controls was really great within a support system, and they also also have a number of tutorial videos that are not the fanciest things on the market today but did walk me through getting this paired to my Wi-Fi even in that situation I kid you not I have lost many many nights of sleep to valve actuators now that's a funny thing to say but it's because of how I spent the last few years of my career in the oil industry and it meant that whenever we had kind of gone out and bought a cheap actuator well I ended up with a sleepless night and so I've always looked at the physical construction and the engineering behind devices like this in order to make a decision as to whether or not I like it. And there are a number of components that I really like about the engineering here. I spoke about the mounting hardware and how impressed I was with that and how it could be customized to your situation. But one of the things that Econet Controls does not customize is where this is mounted. And 
it's really important. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make is that your valve is mounted on either the pipe or the connection point, which is kind of in between here. And when you do something like that, you can actually put a lot of undue stress on that connection joint or on the pipe itself. And you can actually crumple parts of the pipe if you make that mistake. So that's why the Bulldog has been mounted directly on the valve body because there is no stress, no chance for additional leaks. And that is just like the bolts that they have thought about here with the valve handle, making sure that you're gonna get a good secure snug connection and you're able to move that valve easily. One of the many, many reasons that I lost many nights of sleep is actually a little known requirement in, in industry in terms of what the valve has to know as it's moving and when it gets fully open or fully closed. And that is that it has to know where it sits in the process and when it hits those outer limits. And so a few years ago, I was sent one of these, not this specific model, it was from another company and it was one of those $50 units that looked like it could do the job. But then I took a look at the controller for it and I found myself looking at something that was taking a lot of wattage or a lot of amperage and I didn't really understand why. So I stopped at that moment and I did not install it on the valve in my home and I'm really glad I stopped because when I reached out to the company and I asked them why their amperage was so high, they didn't really have a great reason. And then when I asked them how they were determining where they were in the valve moving process and whether or not they were at the end of the valve, I had the combination of a really high opportunity for power and maybe them not knowing whether they had fully opened or fully closed my valve. That's a dangerous combination. In industry, we would call that an over torque of the valve. And one of the reasons I would lose sleep is because you can actually break pieces of the valve if you're doing that. And this is something that Econet Controls understood as soon as I asked them about their process behind this. And they immediately informed me that their controller does all of this work. It understands where it is in the process and it has over torquing protection or overcurrent protection really. All of this, all the whole actuator, the whole controller, the whole system is working with a power supply of only one amp and that is right in the sweet spot of where I would expect the power to be for a system like this. Plus, when you hear this motor or when I hear this motor, what I'm hearing is a very solid, a very even motor and I'm happy for the protection that the controller provides being directly wired to this actuator. Now, there are a number of variants, and I've already talked about the fact that you could buy a Z-Wave version or the Wi-Fi version, plus we've talked about the ability to purchase additional leak sensors and the wired sensor, but there's also an emergency stop option as well. However, maybe the most interesting variant that you can purchase is an outdoor ready actuator. So this is a completely sealed unit, and what's nice about the type of cable they used, it seems kind of weird at first because it's actually like an S-video cable is what I remember this being used for. You know what, it seems strange, but they can go 100 feet away from this and still have things work reliably. So that means you can stick an outdoor actuator outside your home and the controller inside your home. Another option that they have available is actually if you have a larger water valve in your home that you need to automate, well, they can manage that. Plus, they can actually sell you versions that work with different connection types. So if you have threaded connections versus soldered connections, which you'll be able to get a little bit of help on understanding if you don't know what that means, well, they'll be able to get you something there. And finally, if you wanna get the whole assembly just ready to go and you hire a plumber, bring them in and have them install it, they'll sell you the valve as well. So this becomes a really flexible solution. In terms of the things that might catch you with this solution, 
doing well. I think that 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity, that's one thing I've spoken about. And I think personally for myself, I would prefer the Z-Wave version again for communication in a mechanical room. It's just gonna be a little more reliable that way. If you're a HomeKit user, there's no way to bring this in just natively. And so you would need a home bridge. And that's not a really difficult thing. I've seen the EWI Link uh, drivers basically available for home bridge options and that can bring this into HomeKit if you want it. The other thing that I don't really love from a design perspective, you know what, it's around these sensors and I understand it but I don't love it and I know some of you might not really like it. Now these are designed for three to five years of battery life but there is no battery percentage indicator so they actually chose to not bring that into the controller, not have it available for you anywhere and that was to extend the battery life so I think come year three I would probably just be replacing this battery doing a quick test in a dish of water to make sure that it's still working and go from there The last thing that you're probably not going to love is the cost, and this is not an inexpensive solution, although there are more expensive solutions available on the market that aren't going to be as reliable as this is. Now, uh, what I'll tell you is that in my life, if one solution is going to reliably save me time constantly, then I'm going to choose that over the option that might cause me to lose some sleep or might cause me to still have the event. So go ahead, check out the links down below. And if you take anything else from this video, understand that in critical applications, a really reliable solution is very important. And so that's why actually what's up on screen right now are other extremely reliable smart home solutions that solve big problems problems in your home. So go ahead, check that playlist out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.